Hey buddy, what's up? John D. Vidal here in the 305. I'm in Brickell and I had some great meetings with some VCs and a founder of a company to get the vibe on what's going on in Miami, in the tech scene, in South Florida tech scene, in the venture scene. Great, great conversations. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that. I've got all kinds of notes. We're gonna put another video with this video for a complete video and go over everything. So we dived in deep about what's going on, what's hot, where it can go, so many different things. It's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned for it right now and check out this beautiful scene right here in Brickell. Hey buddy, what's up? Okay, so now let's get into it. I'm gonna characterize some meetings that I've had on the ground in Brickell and also uh, subsequent to that, on the phone with some people that are that I you know respect and are definitely involved in this. I talked to some people that are involved in some VC funds and some founders and some other people and I'm gonna characterize that at a macro level. I may be able to get specific in certain areas and of course, this is all my personal opinion only. Please check all the disclaimers. So here's kind of what I've got from these meetings. They believe that Miami is definitely real and is a tech hub now, but th th there's a lot of work to do. They believe that from what I'm hearing from certain sources is so <laughs> there's sort of some cross currents, right? Some people think that the mayor is crushing it and doing a great job. Um, kind of like, you know, uh, sort of the opposite of SF and sort of a customer support manager, in my opinion, from what I've heard, which is, which is cool. And again, mayors are mayors, politicians are politicians. They don't fund deals. They don't, you know, build and, and write code and, and not that I've seen, right? But that a lot of people, you know, myself included, is, are very happy with how forward leaning um, Mayor Suarez and his team are in terms of really trying to push this tech thing for Miami. I do think that there's a lot of work to be done. I do think that we have to keep it grounded in reality. Uh, don't overhype it, in my opinion. And I think that, that there's a lot of, of, of still work to do in certain in a lot of areas. One of the things we talked about was the need for, for more talent. And there is definitely, the, what I'm hearing is that there's definitely a talent gap. That yes, there's some, there's some talent in certain areas here, for sure. Um, and obviously money and more talent's coming in, but that there's a need to, and I, I've been saying this for, you know, from the beginning, collaborate, collaborate, collaborate. And we also have to get other senior management in here, senior talent in here, people that can do not just, it's not just technical and coding. It's not all about writing code. It's also about growing companies, sales, business development, M&A, all kinds, there's all kinds of different things, marketing that need to be done. Um, and, but, but the sense of it is, is that this is a pro-business place, right? Florida, at the macro level, you know, I think a lot of this story is, is people wanting to leave California and New York and also, you know, Florida being welcoming. So I think it's a, it's a story at, at a state level, but I think that some of these people are saying that they feel like the city's more run like a business and it's a pro-growth environment. It's kind of reminds them of Silicon Valley earlier or or just as a better environment, depending if they didn't come from Silicon Valley. So I think that's great. And I think that there definitely credit goes to the mayor for and, and, the, and the team for that. Um, and that, that you know one of the one of the uh, quotes I lay out here is that you know quote being in Miami is a competitive advantage for founders. And I think that came from uh, someone else who put that on Twitter. I'll try to find what I can and, and put it in the description below. Different articles and, and quotes. I think that's uh, someone named uh, Papano. I may get that wrong. So hopefully I have that. Um, and that if you're here, you can get means that you couldn't get other places. So that's great. And again, is it transitory? I mean, now it's like we were there, it was hot, right? I mean, the, the summer, summer's here in Miami. You know, the winter, people, a lot of times people would come here for the winters and the winters are great. I'm used to it. I actually like it, but it's definitely a, a different environment, right? I mean, I, when I go out there all the time, I mean, it's a different, you know, summer's here now. So I, I think part of this is as things change, the question is, okay, and I've seen this written in different areas too, is okay, well, how much, how, you know, permanent, how sticky is this current movement? Will people go back to Silicon Valley? Will they go back to New York? I think that's a concern. I wouldn't be surprised if some people, if some people, you know, may have to leave or at least temporarily. So I think there's, there's, there's that part of it too. I think a lot of the ideas that I've been having were positively received. And I think that there's an alignment in terms of where the opportunities are, how, how to work on those. That's great to get that sort of validation and, and sort of alignment there. Um, and, you know, 
I really think I see where my, you know, South Florida, Miami, but let's call it South Florida is, I, th I think I see a, a where it can go and where unique opportunity is. Do I believe that it's going to be what some of, some of the statements and branding and hype, I, no, I don't. But do I think, not in any time soon, <laughs> not in any, I can't see that in the short or medium term, but do I think that it can outperform and, and, and quickly accelerate what its current level is in, in the tech venture world? Yes, I do. And I think that there is some unique positioning and some unique things that can really help accelerate that. Um, I'll save that for later. Um, I'm actually working on some stuff right now. So uh, I, I may have some more to talk about soon. Um, so I do think that there's a lot of opportunity. I think, and I was there, I saw the action activity. On the flip side, um, you know, it's awesome. Brickle's awesome, but getting down there, traffic was heavy. It wasn't easy, right? Um, and then there's parking. And I mean, everything, everything you'd have to deal with the, with the city. And so, yes, Brickle was awesome and there was money. I saw there was uh, some big time cars that were valeted there. I mean, heavy, I mean, these are like, you know, $200,000 plus cars, um, you know, buck 50 to $300,000 type cars. And one of them had <laughs> out of state plates. Are they staying? Did they just come here? Are they leaving? You know what I mean? So, and then that's always been part of the whole uh, Miami thing. But as, as cool as it was to hang out at, you know, um, um, Brick, Mary Brickle Village there and that whole area in Brickle, I talked to my wife and it was like, okay, well, we don't want to live here and we don't think we want to be on Miami Beach. I mean, maybe. And of course, if you were super loaded up, and again, that 1% or about 0.1%, um, then you can do it. You can do it a different way, right? I mean, you'd maybe be on one of the islands or something. Um, we could see ourselves possibly in like Coral Gables or something. We have to go explore that a little bit more. But again, this this is not to get into my stuff, but this is real talk for because not every founder is you know in their twenties and single, right? So if you want to make this a vibrant tech hub and get that senior talent that middle level talent, mid level to senior talent, it's a different conversation. And again, it's collaboration. So you need something that works for everybody. So I think that's a, a concern, but you have to remember Silicon Valley and that, that entire sort of, you know, horseshoe, if you will, between really all the Bay Area, but certainly for a long time, it was, it was, it started out kind of, more San Mateo, then, you know, Menlo Park, Redwood Shores, Menlo Park, Palo Alto, Mountain View, down around San Jose, and then back down to like, you know, Fremont, all the way to Pleasanton. That's a very different suburban type vibe. Easier to play, you know, easier to park in your house and in your yards and all that type of stuff. Now, that obviously that extended down, you know, some place, some would say all the way down to Novato, certainly San Francisco, Oakland, Berkeley. Walnut Creek. And so I think that, you know, Miami and, and South Florida were already dealing with infrastructure issues and traffic issues. That's also part of the conversation, you know, long term, right? So now the other side of it is what I'm getting is look, it's great, but how many people are going to stay here? Some people would say to me, well, you know, we want, we want to shake out the weak hands and it's okay if some people leave. I don't feel that way, right? Um, and, and I think that there's also some people that say, well, okay, so, so much of this is, is, is hype or we weren't invited to the party. So I think that there's definitely still a lot of work to do, but there's a lot of positivity. I think it's definitely happening. Now it's about doing the hard work. Now I did see there was something put out and I really appreciate this. I got to try to find it and put the link in the description. Something put out by um, the Miami uh, uh, Dade mayor, the county mayor, and, and their office. I think they did some feasibility report, which, in, in my opinion, shows a lot of things that I've been talking about, which I think that was very useful. And I've seen some other activities from other leaders and, and groups around South Florida. And again, collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. 
and actually doing the hard work here. So there's a lot of work to be done. There's, there's some great things happening. I'm very positive of what I've seen and I think it's awesome, but there's still a lot of work to do and to try to make this real. I have some specific things that I'm working on. I've had some great conversations and we're gonna see. So, we'll, so there's a lot of different things out there. I can't talk about more right now, but very, so far so good. Very, you know, it's awesome. Let me know what you think. That's my update for now. I'm John D. Valero. You let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe. Please turn on the notifications. And you know, what do you think about this? Where do, what's your experiences and what do you want to see to make this better? And are you interested in coming down and checking out what's going on in South Florida? You let me know what's going on. I'm John D. Valero. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.